Hi Grizzlies, please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now on to the weather. Hi, we're Olivia with this week's weather report. Saturday is a high of 84 and a low of 55. Sunday is a high of 70 and a low of 47. Bye, Grizzlies. Hi, Grizzlies. I'm Gabriella with this week's happiness. I'm here with Michaela. Michaela, what's your happiness? That I went to Las Vegas. I'm here with Olivia. Olivia, what's your happiness? My happiness is that I went to Utah for spring break. Yeah. I'm here with Annabelle. Annabelle, what's your happiness? That I went to have a sleepover for spring break. Grizzlies, today we are going to be making pa paper chickens for this week's DIY. You will need yellow construction paper, orange construction paper, a glue stick, scissors, and a pencil. So you will need to draw circles on your paper. So I'm going to draw three, and then you're going to cut them out. Once you have these cut out, you're going to get your orange piece of construction paper and uh, draw this shape onto them three times. This will be the beak. And then you're going to cut these out. So take your glue and your little diamonds and you're going to want to fold them in half and then glue them in the middle. So we are going to make the legs. So cut um, long rectangles for the legs. So take your rectangles and fold them like this, and then you're going to want to cut them through the middle. So you're going to tape the legs on, and then you're going to draw the eyes. You can draw the eyes however you want. So uh, we're gonna make the wings. So draw three pairs of something that looks like this, and you're gonna cut them out and put them on the sides of your chicken. This is gonna be the final product. This is a book review. This book says, Sammy Tidley. Thanksgiving dinner written by Lillian Hobbin. I like this book because it it's like she gives them Thanksgiving dinner and I think it's a 10 out of 10. That's it. How do you say happy spring in Spanish? Feliz primavera. Let's hear it again. Feliz primavera. Bye, Grizzlies. With the science fact of the week, we have another great question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, scientifically, the egg came first. Mr. Raw Review. Today I'm reviewing Chick fil A. Chick fil A is located at 31479 Avenue E, Yucaipa, California, 92399. Chick fil A serves sandwiches, nuggets, and strips. I'm ever here with Alex. Alex, what does responsibility mean to you? It means when you can do the right thing when no one else is watching. 
Hi, I'm Everett here with Leroy. Leroy, what does responsibility mean to you? Responsibility means knowing what the right and wrong things are and doing the right thing even though it's hard. History Fact by Keegan Whitaker Hens communicate with their chicks while they're still inside their eggs. Top 5 Movies by Colin Nielsen Number 5, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone 4, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sing 2 2, Encanto 1, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse Joke Slash Mean by Pedro Sandoval How do chickens leave the building? They use exits Tech Fact by Raul Taroli did you know that surgeons that grew up playing video games more than three hours per week made 37 fewer errors and have a 42 faster completion rate when performing laparoscopic surgeries and suturing? Bye, Grizzlies. Sports by Braden Felberg. Hockey. Bruins versus the Capitals. Predators versus the Penguins. Basketball. Warriors versus the Pelicans. The Kings versus the Sun. Baseball. White Sox versus the Tigers. The Reds versus the Braves. Staff schedule by Kaylee Fugate. A.M. Figueroa, Greenleaf, Hurst, E. Lockenfora. P.M. J. Lockenfora, Latuka, Leidner, Linderman. Hey everybody, uh, happy first Friday back from spring break. And believe it or not, it's we're going to barrel till, towards the end of the school year. So I don't have uh, a whole class behind me. I'll work on that for next week. But I just want to remind everyone we're focusing on being thinkers. And the way that you can be a thinker is by finding creative solutions to different situations. I was just in Miss Lachlan Ford's class earlier today. I was in Miss Spencer's class and they were working on dice. They were using dice to figure out different ways, uh, different strategies to add and multiply. Add and multiply to figure out the numbers on the combined dice and there were a lot of students had a lot of interesting ways creative ways that they were finding solutions so you can apply it to, to your whole life like any kind of lesson here you should be able to apply it in many different ways so be a thinker this weekend come up with creative solutions to problems or situations that you may have and we'll all be better for it so our winners this week in k-2 we have Aurea ali in second grade and we have Jay also in second grade. Good job, guys. Those were for appreciation and confidence. In grades three to five, we have Priscilla Gomez for appreciation and Jonathan Z in fourth grade for appreciation. And our two names going into the big drawing, Phoenix Shetterly and Ronnie Roy Ball. So congratulations to our winners. Come on down and see Miss Cindy when you get a chance. And everybody have a great weekend. That's all the time we have for this week. Bye, Grizzlies.